Hello everyone, my name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fortnite Marketing, and welcome to day 20 of Brazemus 2023. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today we will talk about re-eligibility, which is a feature that appears in the section called delivery controls that appears at the bottom of the campaign builder, regardless of which delivery type we choose. I'm sure you've all gotten a glimpse of this section over the last several videos and have been wondering what it's for. We'll finally talk about it today, so let's get started. Like the name of the feature, campaign re-eligibility allows users to receive the specific campaign more than once. So when we check this box, we're given the option to set the re-eligibility window, which is how soon after receiving the first message can a user be eligible to receive their second message or their subsequent messages. If we choose zero days, then users will be re-eligible instantly. And although it's not really obvious from the UI, the Braze documentation says, the maximum time for re-eligibility for a campaign is 720 days. If your user triggered this campaign but did not actually receive the campaign for whatever reason, then they will automatically qualify for the message the next time they complete the trigger event. And lastly, let's check out these three rules that Braze shares about re-eligibility and multivariant testing. So one, when variant percentages are not changed, each user will always enter the same variant of a campaign triggered in a message or canvas entry every time they are re-eligible. Two, if the variant percentage do change, users may be redistributed to other variants. And three, control groups will remain consistent if the variant percentage is unchanged and no users who previously received messages will ever enter the control group on a later send, nor will any user in the control group ever receive a message. So the third bullet is similar to the first bullet, just rephrased with an additional detail about control groups. But to summarize, a user will go through the same variant each time as long as the varying percentage is unchanged. That's it for day 20. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.